Hey guys, so it's Monday and I am at home. Yay, I have the day off. Um, okay, so if anyone doesn't know my work situation, my boss is closing down the studio for a full month. And um, so that's supposed to be in effect right now and I'm not supposed to work this week, but I have to go in just to finish up this one little animated thing. But I can't finish it yet because we're waiting on this rig. And so it'll probably take me a day or two to finish it and I'll still get the rest of the days off for the week. Um, but the rig was supposed to be in last night, but it's not. And so my boss was like, yeah, you can just stay home today. So I was like, woo. So it's a good thing I checked my work emails before going in. I usually don't ever check my work emails at home. So I'm like, nope, that is separate. That is not going to be dealt with at home. But yeah, I have the day off. Um, I'll likely be in tomorrow and then the next day. And then I'll have Thursday, Friday off. So woohoo. <sighs> I don't know. I just feel good. I'm gonna vacuum. I'm going to work on my collab. Why? <laughs> I put my hand in my pocket and I'm like, what's this in my pocket? My deodorant? Why? Why is that in my pocket? It's just, no. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna work on YouTube videos. That's my goal this week is just to get a bunch of art videos done and then I can have stuff to post while I'm gone. And I'm also gonna be filming the 100K giveaway video I don't know when because according to Social Blade, I'm gonna hit a hundred thousand subscribers on the 20th Which is this Saturday, but that's the day I leave So I'm gonna have to pre-record the giveaway video which kind of eh. I don't like the thought of recording the hundred thousand video before I hit a hundred thousand I don't know. It's just weird to me, but it's gonna have to happen So I didn't end up doing a mail opening yesterday because I kind of forgot because we were out late So I have a package from Logie Bear Diamond the Espeon and then this one doesn't have a name on the outside, but you'll know who you are. Look at that cute little turtle So the package is from Megan aka Dominic Wait, did I say that? Domenica, sorry. <laughs> Domenica Chan So those are the different usernames right there for you Aren't we all charming and then there's a link to her Etsy shop and other links cool, but look at this Check it out, man. Check out this poke flute. Yes, that is so cool. And that's like not something I would think of to make Pokemon wise. Like this is really unique. I love that. You know, it's just like, ah, oh, yeah, that was a really cool charm idea. Then here we have a picture. <gasps> Mermaid Bailey. That is adorable. Look at the little hands. Oh, thank you so much, Megan. That is so cute, and I love the Poké Flute. Hey, she can use it. Maybe either she's holding it, haha, -ha, or pretend she's using it. Would you go be on this side, or would you be on this side? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Next up is the package from Diamond the Espeon. So inside the envelope was another envelope, and there's this cute little drawing and some rainbow duct tape. Oh, there is more. Ha ha. Got a letter. Oh, ah, ah. oh my god, these are so cute. Okay, make sure I get everything. Okay. Shiny electrode. Oh my gosh. I love this one. And I'm just like, yes, you are mine. Oh, and then here's me in this TV, or not TV, or Twitch <laughs> and YouTube. Oh my god. That is too cute. Oh, it says open first. Whoops, I got all excited about the stuff that just fell out, but I will read it before I open this. Whoa, blur, whoa now. So I just read your letter, and I think it's so funny you said you talk about my videos to the point where your twin gets annoyed. <laughs> that was really funny. And look at this cute kitty. And, okay, okay, P.S. I'm only 13, so I'm sorry about the bad pictures. They are not bad, I love the pictures you sent. And I like this, look, the big spider is back. <laughs> Hogarth is way bigger than that, by the way, but that's freaky. How dare you try to trick me like that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for the letter, and now I'm going to open up your package. No, you guys, I just unwrapped this, and now that I'm unwrapping it, I'm like, man, this thing's packaged really nicely. But unfortunately, that wasn't enough. I think it's because it was just in a regular envelope. It wasn't 
bubble wrapped or I, I don't even know how you'd have to like insanely bubble wrap something for to make sure it won't break like it's pretty much impossible the way the postal people treat the mail but oh this okay I don't sure where this piece goes well, there's a bit of hair on it so it's got to be an arm it's got to be this arm and then maybe this is this arm because I'm holding what looks to be like a pencil and oh Oh, I feel so sad. This is so tragic that it broke. But I get the gist of it. It was me made out of clay. Oh. I mean, it is pretty thin. That's probably why it broke. But uh, thank you so much anyway. No, there's just a few crumbs left. No, this is so sad. Um, I think I'm going to glue it together, but I'm going to glue it down on a piece of cardstock like I mentioned. And there's the tip of the pencil. And then a couple little bits of hair. But yeah, thank you so much, Diamond the Espeon, for the letter and the cute drawings and the poor little <laughs> clay figure. But I promise I'll put it back together to the best of my ability. And yeah, thank you so much. And now we're going to move on to the last one, which was from Logie Bear. All right, so I just pulled everything out and I'm going to read a letter. They don't want their real name shown, so I'm going to make sure to not show that. But first, I'll show you guys what is inside. So we have some Rainbow Loom creations here. We have a bracelet. And then here, this looks like Elsa. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. And then here we have a little burger. Oh, this is really light. Oh, sorry. I'm like way out of frame. This is really light clay. Let's maybe go into the light into the light oh it's got a little face that is too cute logie bear i love the sparkles on the letter and the different colors of pens that was so pretty and now i'm going to show the drawings here oh wait there's a note on the back hi it's logie bear again this is the character i would like you to name my friend my friends at school also call me oneda or logie bear is fine okay i'll shut up now <laughs> So they want me to name this character, and she's under the trees. I'm gonna need to think about this. <laughs> the stress, the, the pressure to name the character. <laughs> oh, and she said that this one is a photocopy and that the next one is an original, and it is Elsa, Coronation Elsa, yay. That is so cool. Okay, now I need to name the character, oh no. Oh no, I'm bad with names. Okay, I just randomly thought of this. Her name's gonna be Kiko, K-I-K-O, Kiko. <laughs> okay, so here's how the gluing turned out. I hope I did it correctly. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll cut around, like I'll trim down the paper afterwards. So I have about three months worth, three and a half months worth of hair dye left. I have two bottles. And do you guys think I should stay blue? after it runs out or should I change it up because I feel like I want to change it up I just feel like I'm kind of getting sick of the same thing even though I really really like it I just feel like it's time for a change so these are the options I'm looking at um, I posted on Twitter last night so there is dark brown or I can go my natural color with blonde highlights you can go to my Twitter at Bailey underscore J if you want to get a better look at the picture but what's your guys thoughts because um I mean, brown looks good with my eyes, but the blonde, like I've had both these colors before in the past. I feel like going lighter won't be so bad now that my skin's lighter because in the past, my skin was super tanned because I got phototherapy for my vitiligo, so I was so dark. Um, I just kind of like that lighter look and it matches my eyebrows a bit better. I just don't know what to do. And in the summertime, the blonde would be kind of nicer because it would fade like the sun would lighten it even more, which would look nicer than a faded brown. So I'm like so unsure. I'm like, do I want to stick with blue or do I want to change it up? And if I do, do I want dark brown or do I want to go light? I'm kind of leaning towards changing it up, to be honest. Like, I just feel like it's time, but it's sad at the same time. So let me know your thoughts of what color I should go with. And don't make any suggestions other than the ones I've suggested because I don't want anything else. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just let me know down below. Also, what's nice about the brown is I could dye it myself here at home. If I go with the highlights, I'm gonna have to go to a salon to get it done every time. So that's the trade-off, I guess. So I don't know. Let me guy. Let me guess. <laughs> done that. I say that sometimes. Let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of leaning towards the blonde, and Christian said blonde as well. 
but on Twitter it seems like most people are saying, well not most people, but more people are saying brown than are saying blonde by just a bit. And then on my personal Facebook I posted it and I had one friend tell me brown and another friend tell me blonde. It's like, it's such a close race with brown winning, but I'm kind of leaning towards blonde. I don't know. Ooh. I don't think I can change my profile pictures though. Like that needs to stay, the goofy Bailey face. But then there's the picture that's on my personal Facebook and it's also on my Bailey, Bumble Bailey YouTube channel. This one that you're watching right now. This picture, I love this. That was a screenshot from one of my videos. And I've always loved that picture and I'm not gonna be able to use it anymore. But yeah, so. That picture, the real picture of me is going to change, but I don't think I'm going to change the color in the Goofy Bailey picture because I like that pop of color, so it's probably going to stay. There's always a chance I could change it in the future, but then make the background in the shirt teal or turquoise to still have that pop of color. That could be a possibility, but for now I just want to keep, I'll keep my little avatar the same even if I dye my hair. All right, so I'm working on the collab picture and I was gonna show a little sneak peek of what I've done so far, just like a tiny corner of the drawing. And I was looking around for my digital camera and then I noticed that my Surface Pro, which I was watching YouTube videos on, the fan was running somewhat loud and I was like, oh, I've never heard it run like this before. So I was, I leaned in and I was feeling it to see if it was hot. And this candle was sitting right here in the, like it was lit. And um, I didn't really realize, like I kind of forgot about the candle. So I'm leaning in and I'm like feeling if this is hot and then I see smoke coming up and I freaked out. I like close the screen, unplug it, and then I look at the candle and one of the flames is out. So I must have like leaned into it and burnt something. Like I'm like, what part of me even touched it? My hair doesn't seem to be burnt. I didn't even look in a mirror though. Um, and it didn't smell like burned hair, and my sweater doesn't appear to be burnt. The strings look okay. Like, I don't know <laughs> what I did, but something was smoking because of the candle. And I thought it was the Surface Pro smoking, and there was like this freak out moment. I was like, it's destroyed. But, um, yeah, it's all good. Anyway. <sighs> all right, so it's midnight, well, almost, <laughs> and I just finished up the background, which is the majority of the work, I'm telling you. <laughs> I just have the character left and it's going to take hardly any time at all tomorrow, so that's pretty exciting. I'll get this for sure finished and the video edited tomorrow, so yeah, yeah. And um, the time it goes up is going to be dependent on when the other artist is ready. I'm going to give you one more close up now that there's some color on the page. Alright, here's a teeny tiny section of the background so yeah i am so excited i don't know if i've ever done a background this elaborate i know for sure i've not done a background with this many colors like mixing different colors it looks so good oh yeah i'll talk about it more in the actual art video but i'm gonna put this away in a protective thingy and take it out tomorrow and finish it up oh god i'm so excited now but i'm so tired my eyes feel so strained like when I was working on this, my eyes were starting to hurt. So that's a sign I need to go to bed. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. So I got my bratwurst here with sauerkraut and onions and ketchup. Yeah, it looks good. Here is Christian's, the giant, giant bratwurst. No, giant, giant bratwurst. Giant bratwurst. Wow, that's that's huge compared to mine. It's like one sausage, that's like two sausages and two buns. No, it's just one long sausage. One long sausage. Whoa.